Hi, it's Sam from Intrinsic Dev. In this video, we just want to cover some of the improvements Alan have made to the lighting system in the recent firmware 8.6. So think of this as a supplementary video to any training you may have done with us in the past or just a sort of an update to your existing Alan knowledge. So in 8.6, uh, Alan delivered the long-awaited and much rumored automatic lighting pages. Um, this is something they've talked about for a while and it's finally here. What this means is you're no longer going to have to create custom pages for all the rooms of your house that when you set them up with lighting. Uh, it means the Alan system will automatically generate a lighting interface for you. It's um, no longer sort of page based anymore. Um, you'll see when we come to actually use the viewer, it's a little bit more slick. Um, the whole lighting system's had a bit of a revamp. You can, of course, still use custom pages if you wish. Um, they're still here, they still work. Um, nothing has changed on that front. Um, think of this as an additional feature um, added in to save time um, during setup. So how does it work? Um, here I've got uh, GTools open, I've got uh, the lighting system open, and I've got a virtual lighting device already installed. Um, this will work with any existing lighting device. It does not need any drivers to be updated. Um, simply what we're doing here is we're using a new option that's now available to specify where the lights are in a property. And based on the rooms that we tell Alan um, are in the property, Alan will generate controls for the lights that have been assigned to those rooms. So let's start with kitchen spots. Um, I say I have set this virtual device up, but I've done no setup as regards to this new sort of automatic lighting interface. So if I go to kitchen spots, um, I've got this location drop down here. At the minute, there's nothing in it. If I click the button to the right of it with the three dots, I get the area editor. Um, now we can add in a building, so we'll just call this home for the minute. In that building, we can add in levels. So let's go with ground floor. And then on the ground floor, we can add in rooms or areas. So let's add kitchen. Um, on any of these um, tabs, we can use the minus button to remove a room or a level or a building. And you can obviously click rename to rename any type or you want to uh, repurpose. So once we've done that, we click OK. The circuit that we've done it on, so the kitchen spots has now automatically been assigned to ground floor kitchen. If I go to the next circuit, kitchen pendant, I can use the drop down menu to assign ground floor kitchen again. And to speed things up even further, um, there's a bulk assignment you can do. So if I click, um, if I press the control key and click kitchen wall lights, I can then click continue holding the control key. I can then click kitchen under counter and I can click kitchen kickboards. I can now right click these, hit select location. I'll get the location editor again. If I select building, home, level, ground floor, area, kitchen, click OK. It'll assign all of these now into the kitchen. So if you are doing a large project um, with many, many circuits, this will be an awful lot faster um, than the old custom page way. So I'm going to go ahead and add in uh, just a couple more rooms. Um, just doing this to make the um, viewer interface a bit more realistic when we come to look at it. So if I add in garage, I'll assign the garage circuit to that. And let's do living room as well. So to do that, just click home, ground floor, and then an area, add a new one, living room, and click OK. So we've got three rooms set up. That's enough for a, a good usable example. So there's nothing else needed in the lighting section of configurator. We just now need to jump into the interface section. I'm going to find my interface device, my MacBook, and go to the lighting system. Now we can see here we've got our kitchen, our garage, and our living room. We've also got a level ground floor. So we'll add that as well, and I'll show you what that does. So I can just select those all, move them across, hit apply. Now I've opened the viewer, so I can see the lighting's already here. So click lighting, and that's our automatic generated controls. So let's start with the kitchen. If I click the arrow on the right hand side, I can maximize out the kitchen interface. I can see there's a couple of circuits already on. So the kitchen kickboards are an RGB device. I'll come to that in a second. The pendants, spots, and wall lights are standard dimmers, and the under counter is a switch. So the dimmers can be turned on and off with the little toggle button at the side. You can also adjust their brightness by clicking and dragging the slider, very similar to the old interface. You can press and hold the plus and minus keys, and they'll dim up and dim down for you. Under counter is the switched circuit, so we can just turn it on and off. So its only control is the on-off toggle. 
its status feedback, as in the on-off, is done via the same slider graphic, but it'll only ever be 100% full on or zero, completely gray, as you can see there. The RGB um, has had a bit of revamp as well. So if we turn the RGB circuit on, we can see there that it was last set to green. So our um, icon has appeared green. So I can click that. I've now got a color palette. It comes preset with uh, some different uh, light levels and then some colors. So I can click uh, blue and it'll jump to blue. If I go back in, I can then hit manage colors. And I've got a much updated uh, color slider and saturation slider as well. Uh, any of these custom colors I make, I can save. So if I like that particular shade of light green, I just click save. I can then pick an existing color to overwrite. So say I don't like, I don't like that orange. Let's just get rid of the orange. And there we go, we've now saved it. We can also go into whites, and this is just to do with uh, sort of Kelvin color level control. If your device supports uh, color level, um, you'll have this option. If it doesn't, if it's just a plain RGB, you'll just get the, the, the color section of this. This virtual device supports both. So I'm able to say, well, it's nighttime. Maybe I want a, a warm white, maybe not so warm. And again, <clears throat> you can do exactly the same thing. You can save it. So say I don't like that purple, I'll just overwrite it. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a good selection of sort of basic colors and color levels already saved into the palettes. So we just click X for now. So that's a bit of the recap of the sort of basic overview of how Alana updated the lighting interface. Um, let's just cover off something else that we mentioned earlier. We've got this ground floor control. So what it does is it gives us everything that's in the ground floor. So it's got the garage circuit, it's got the living room circuit, so it's like a master overall control. Might be something you want to use, it might not be something you want to use, but as we can see from configurator in the background, it's our choice whether we want to add that in or not. Uh, but either way, it's automatically generated for us. So we go back to the kitchen, and um, the other thing that's now updated is scenes. So the scene editor is automatically here on the front page for us. So just recap, if you didn't catch that, that's just by clicking the star. So the star is what appears on the actual room line here. And it continues to appear at the top whenever you're in the expanded view. So if I click into scenes, I've got the color palette. I can manage colors from the color palette. So I can also edit color palette in here, but I've got this scene editor. So manage scenes, let's create a new scene. Let's just call it new scene for the sake of the example and we'll see the old fashioned scene editor that we used to have before where we were able to add in. If anybody had used custom scenes before, the press and hold custom scene buttons would have landed you into an interface very, very similar to this. What has been updated again in the scene editor is RGB. So let's just, um, let's just add in a pendant, a dimmable circuit, just to recap how that would work. So we've added the kitchen pendant then to this new scene and say I want to set it to 70%. That's how I'd set that up. But if we add the kickboard in, if anybody's used the scene editor prior to the LAN 8.6, uh, if you'll recall, you are able to add in RGB devices, but you can only turn them on or off or dim them up and down. We can now actually recall the color as well. So I can set the, the brightness here. And if I click this icon, I can now select a, a preset color. So if I go to the light green I made earlier, we're now recalling light green at that percentage brightness. And that's our scene. So big, big improvement to the scene editor as well. If we just go through, we can see there, there's the garage circuit and there's the living room, all automatically created for us. There's been um, no background work done here. This is as fast as it has appears in the video. So I think everyone will appreciate that this is gonna make installation an awful lot faster than what it currently is. Uh, it's a massive improvement to the system and it's it's a massive overhaul to the look and feel of the system as well. It's a much improved, more modern feel to the lighting system. So that's the lighting update. Uh, thanks for watching.